All right, after two weeks of having this guy, we are finally gonna get to the review. Gamorian Guard, the pink. Hello, I'm the Nintendo, and this is Kenner Toys. Just kidding, this is actually a black series. Um, kind of the Jedi, 40th anniversary. Um, I don't think, I don't know if they actually have all these coming out, but um, I'm only gonna get this one, maybe this guy, maybe some Ewoks. Don't really need more Stormtroopers. Actually, more Stormtroopers could help, but you know, I'm not gonna read all the 40th anniversary. Actually, let me see. Uh, commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi with figures from the Black Series featuring classic designs and packaging. Wow. Let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and rip this bad boy open. Get to the good. All right, for the um, accessories, he comes with a few things. He comes with just a, oh, excuse me, background. You see up there, he comes with an ax. Nice little ax, a little rusty at the end. Got some chips and stuff. You could tell it's been weathered and it's been used a lot to cut up enemy pigs, probably, right? The handle looks pretty good. You can see the little texture of the wood on that. I like that a lot. Then he comes with this longer one. It's like a, I'm assuming it's like a cattle prod or something. It's like, Got like a lot of detail on the top. Looks like it's been shoved into people. Got a long, it's got a little thing right there. Excuse me, I burped right now. That's why I kind of got gas. And this is the other end. Not a lot of detail on that. There's a little bit of weathering on the tip, but that's about it. And then it comes with this crazy axe. That's like a damn for like, I don't even know what you would use this for. Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. like if you're cutting a bunch of vegetables, two handed axe. Really nice. I like it, same texture as the, for the stick as the other one, and then the axe is all weathered at the tips, or at the, the blade, if you will. And let's get on with the actual thing. All right, and here is the Gamorrean guard out of the packaging, and I like this guy a lot. His little pelt right here is really soft, actually. Can I see? It's really soft, so I, I like that a lot. You know, I missed out on picking up the original version, the original deluxe, way back when, and I, you know, Ever since then, it was like 40 to 50 bucks every time I saw him. So I was like, eh, I'll pass on it. And then, boom, they dropped the retro card in one, which I think look actually a lot better. Better do. Look at the eyes and the detail. And the face, look at the nose, look at the teeth. Teeth are all great looking. They're looking all yellow. His nose is all big. His eyes are deep blue. Boy, is beautiful. He's got some pig horns, which is weird. Like, why do pigs have horns? I don't know. I like the headdress. Looking real nice. The armor looks really detailed. Shirt sure looks really nice. There's a little strap across the back. It's pretty cool. Wish you can store like a weapon or something on his back. Like maybe if I had a little clip. Clip you can clip on the axe or something. But you know, no big deal. He's got a little chonies on. A little um, gladiator. Look at his toes. His toes are painted. They're all darker. I like that a lot. Yeah, armbands, pretty nice. The green is a nice, <clears throat> oh God, a green is a nice green. I like this green, it's kind of like avocado green. Very nice figure, I do like this quite a bit. I'm a big fan. I'm such a fan, by the way, of this figure that guess what? I bought two of them. That's right, you can't just have one guard, you gotta have two of them. And then they're coming out with the job of the hut, so this is, Perfect timing for that, so, yeah. Shit, y'all, I was about to go take some photos for the review, and I just realized this guy's mouth open. This is the review station from outside of the boundaries. But yeah, this, look at the mouth opens and closes. I just realized that right now. It's freaking crazy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. For the articulation, my boy looks up only that much. I mean, what do you expect? Boy's got thick neck. He looks up that much. He looks doesn't look down really. Can barely look side to side. Kind of, kind of, kind of sucks, but it's it's there. It's kind of there. Arms go up about this much. They do get hindered by this, but they can rotate all the way around. It looks like they're actually on a no, they're not in a ball joint. They go out that far. Um, they got double jointed elbow or single jointed elbow. My bad. I can rotate right here at the elbow, and of course the wrist rotate all the way around. I believe it's Star Wars Day too, so happy Star Wars Day. By the time I'm recording this, this hinge that goes back. And come on, my mind's a little stiff. Come on, mm, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't go forward. 
That's about as far as it goes. You better hit that whip. And he's got a waist joint that goes back about that much. Goes forward about this much. Actually goes forward quite a bit. He can bend over quite a bit. Goes back again. We'll just check that out. Can rotate side to side, of course. Shift side to side, of course. Let's go up. They could go up further, but I feel like the little diaper thing is getting in the way. So they only go up that much. Not the best. Goes out about that much. Literally the same. So forward. Outward. We do have a thigh cut up there. So that's really nice. Double joint and knees. Pins. Um, no boot cut. But the foot does go up a tad. Go down a tad. And it goes side to side. Quite good. And yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to pull over your skirt, buddy. Yeah, you're safe now. And because I don't have a lot of time, we're going to just be comparing him to other Star Wars figures. Um, he can probably fit in with some MCU, like Thor, maybe, but uh, we're not going to do all that. We're, gonna, we're just going to check out some um, Star Wars stuff. So here he is with the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Looking good. Looking good. <clears throat> here he is with the OG gang. We got um, Luke Skywalker, the original Return of the Jedi version. We have the Archive. Oh, no, actually, this is the Red Box. That is the Red Box Princess Leia, of course. This is the OG um, Han Solo, and then that is from, I think, two years ago now. I actually did a review on this guy. One of my first reviews, actually. Like, probably, like, first ten? I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, and you know I'm a fan of aliens and monster figures, so here he is with a bunch of... Or she, I don't know. It's a pig. Can't really tell <clears throat> what the gender is, but... Here he is. Here they are. With a bunch of other aliens, we got Greedo, Jackson, Ahsoka, Quill, Zuckus, and Chewbacca. I have a couple more aliens, but I don't want to pull them out. I feel like they're going to drop everything on my shelf <laughs> if I do. So, sorry, Jar Jar Binks and Boss. And then I guess I'll end it off with um, Count Dooku and Obi-Wan from the Obi-Wan show. Um, you know, because he's on Tatooine. I don't know why I busted him out. Maybe it's because he's taller, but... I busted him because I know, you know, he's in exile on Tatooine for a while. So maybe he runs into a Gamorrean guard and fights him. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Either of you guys? No? All right, final thoughts on this guy. I think they're pretty cool. I think that the articulation could be a little bit better on the neck. Um, and That's probably the only thing that gets me down is not being able to move their head too much. Everything else is pretty decent. The detail is great. The likeness of the character is fantastic. I love all the detail in the armor and all the little cracks in the leather and the, the skin's all dry looking and rough. You know, it looks pretty good. So I think these are perfect for a shelf, especially the, like I said before, the J new Jabba's coming out. These guys are going to be perfect. If you got Boba Fett, these guys are kind of good for him too. If you have a book of Boba display. Um, 33 bucks though, out the door. Kind of expensive, but... uh. I don't know. Kind of worth. I think they're kind of worth it personally. I like these figures a lot. Um, if I could get an army of them, I would. But, you know, I'm not made of money, so it's not going to happen. But I think you should go out and get yours right now. It's like this and the Boba Fett, the 40-year 40, 40 anniversary, which I have. I just i am not going to review it because I want to keep that one on card. Unless I find another one for cheap, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that one on card too. The, that wave looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. The the everything looks really good on that wave. Even the Han Solo and the uh, Princess Leia and like the the Endor suits, they look good. But um, yeah, these guys are dope. I suggest you go find one and get two. Gotta buy two. There's always two. The rule of two. The rule of two. Uh, but other than that, I got nothing else to say other than I love you guys. We're getting close to 300. We've hit the. We've hit. I believe we hit past 250 at this point. So we're getting there. The road to 300 subscribers, baby. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close, goddammit. <laughs>